So I just had the biggest scare of my life. Welcome to the vlog guys, welcome. So this morning what happened was I came out and my computer was off. And I was like, oh my god, what happened? What happened? What happened? And nothing happened, it just turned off. And this happens, because my computer's old. Things go wrong with it. It's finicky as, as all hell, no, seriously. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. All right, so, <laughs> minus the dust and all that. The greatest thing about this computer is that it gives me like error codes, like it tests, it tests my, my RAM right there, it tests my GPU over there, and it tests my CPU, and it tells me what exactly is wrong with my computer. Now, usually it's this, this sucker right here, this GPU. This sucker goes out like no other, I mean it's just, it's finicky, it's, it's really finicky. But this time around, it was, no, it was the RAM. It was the RAM, I don't, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in this thing, and this thing is like my, my staple. This a Mac could never replace what you see here, never. It could never replace it. It's not just about Windows or OS X. It's just this. It's something that I built, it's a PC, I grew up with a PC. So here's the thing, I could live without a Mac, but there's no way I could live without a PC. That's just what it is. I can't go without a PC. Now Macs are great, don't get me wrong. When this thing shut down, I was like, yeah, my heart sank, but I thank the Lord I had a MacBook Pro so that I could at least upload content and all that. But I lose everything. All my programs are in here. I have 3.5 terabytes worth of stuff in this computer, which, Quite frankly, I can't lose. Now luckily, if you look here, I do have a mechanical hard drive here, but then for the most part, everything's run off this SSD. And I just think that the RAM got, I don't know, I don't know what went wrong with the RAM. I, I can't tell you exactly. I took it all out and I put it in different order. It didn't work and I took it all out and I put two of my original um, Kingston HyperX's in there and it started working and then I put the Corsair uh, vengeance in there again in different order and then it started working so I can't complain guys w one thing I want to tell you is that I actually use all 16 gigabytes of my RAM when I video edit you know when because I, I track my uses my memory usage my CPU load I track everything when I edit because I have three screens thank god I made it survive okay so this is the the front case I actually took it off and my wife cleaned it for me uh, I just think it's heating issues, the RAM got too hot, so I'm pretty sure the dust got into all these little holes. And I couldn't, I could, there wasn't getting enough air, so I did clean, clean that up. So I'm going to put everything back together and hopefully everything works. Guys, okay, so the computer's put back together, it's looking pretty clean. So anyways, if you look at my desktop, I finally it's working again. My heart stopped sinking. I, I installed the Rocket Dock, which pretty much mimics, and then I also got the, the Snow Leopard skin to mimic the Apple uh, Dock, which is actually really useful. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen today. We're gonna go out and get our dog, and then we're gonna go to Marina del Rey. That's the plan. So we brought the dog to Marina del Rey, like I said, I we good. Before we brought him, we brushed him a lot. Fifth floor. Going down.
What is up guys? I'm back home. We had Chipotle. We went to Chipotle for dinner at uh, Marino Del Rey. I think this is Chipotle on there. Yeah, Chipotle up here. Yes. Um, anyways, so after dinner we just came back home. We were just so exhausted. The dogs were like barking consistently and it was just it was getting so annoying. Uh, but I mean, hey, that's the whole point of owning a dog, right? So I got something in the mail today. I got the um, the palm guard for the MacBook Air. So I'm gonna be installing this right now. I did open it already. Uh, I've I've never I've never tried a, this the MacWorld palm guards. I've only tried Moshi and I've had fantastic luck with it. But I have a feeling this is gonna be fine. The reason why I just went with a MacWorld this time around because it's it's a lot cheaper. And the quality seems pretty good because I also got the same palm guard for the MacBook Pro. I just didn't use it because I got both from MacWorld and from uh, Moshi. But with the MacBook Air, I don't think I have to be all that careful. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great night. Live well, laugh more. <laughs>